Hi everyone, this is Leslie with Invest Nicaragua and today I'm joined by a very, very good friend and client, Nick Shen. Nick is a entrepreneur and he's a remote worker. Remote working has been all the rage this year and last year and I wanted to sit down with someone who's actually doing it here in Nicaragua in this amazing, beautiful setting. So Nick, thank you for joining us. Thank you, much appreciated. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself, a little background to get some context to who you are. Sure. Um, I'm Nick. I've, uh, I've, you know, I'm from the U.S. Um, I've grown up mostly uh, back in the States for most of my life. Um, but ever since uh, I graduated college, um, I had started traveling around the world. Firstly, I had joined Peace Corps, uh -huh. um, and I lived in East Africa for quite a long time, and I kind of started going back and forth, living abroad, um, and, you know, eventually I wanted, decided that I wanted to be my own boss, and decided to make some moves and everything, and uh, did some research, and uh, eventually it's got me to where I am today. How did Nicaragua come on your radar? Uh, yeah, it's a good question. Um, so me and a couple of my friends were looking for uh, some kind of business ventures, some property to maybe invest in. And honestly, we kind of just did a ton of Googling. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, we, we looked at a, a bunch of different countries. Beach was necessary, uh, like a massive coastline, especially a beach uh, where you can surf at because a lot of us are really into surfing okay. and surf culture. And um, second would be, you know, kind of like we wanted to invest in a place that wasn't completely overdeveloped. You know, um, I know there's a lot of like real be beautiful places out there, but yeah, we want to be in, in kind of like an up and coming and still like a, of a country that has like preserved its natural kind of life. Um, so that met another factor here. and. Um, and yeah, a country that was like just, you know, fairly beautiful and friendly and uh, kind of easygoing because, um, you know, based on a lot of the places that I've lived and, and where my, my friends have lived, um, you know, some places have been like extremely beautiful and gorgeous, but, you know, just the way of life and doing things in some of these countries is really tough. Um, so Nicaragua definitely met all those kind of parameters and all those factors. And yeah, we, we came and visited and, and we bought a piece of land here pretty shortly after. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that shift from nine to five in the U.S. to now being here, working remotely, building out your eco hotel as well as running a restaurant here in San Juan del Sur. Sure, yeah. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, it just you just gotta take the leap, right? Um, we all have like a, a million reasons, including myself. I had you know a million reasons like to put things off and continue working my nine to five job in uh, in L.A. at the time I was in. And um, you get caught up in it, you know, you get caught up in your lifestyle and, uh, and sometimes like you put your dreams on hold. Um, but at, at some point I, I was just, you know, I was laser focused. I just decided, all right, now's the time. Let's, let's make the jump. And uh, you know, I had quit my job. I sold everything back home and, and I got on a plane and with like three or four suitcases and, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, started my life out here. The move itself, yes, is indeed kind of a leap of faith. In, in that it's a lifestyle change um, but you know I mean we can properly plan for these things you know like properly plan how you're going to pack and move and like the places where you want to set up your home and your house and and there's just so many things that I think that we can utilize from our knowledge and you know our experience about our living our nine to five day life back home uh, to transferring and making that transition so much smoother into a, a new lifestyle here. So you talk about planning. Planning is super important. How did you create your current remote working setup? What was that process like? Yeah, uh, that was an interesting process actually because you know since like the pandemic had occurred, um, everybody had to adapt. You know uh, whether it's with projects or businesses. Um, so remote working became not just a kind of novelty or fringe way of lifestyle or doing things it became became kind of like the norm right um so when i when i realized that when things started happening um i i come from a tech background i started like kind of reaching out to a few different other companies and stuff and i started actually interviewing with some fairly large 
uh, tech companies that were interested in expanding their their team, and especially since everybody was remote now. Okay. And eventually, <laughs> uh, uh, my previous employer, uh, who I was working with in LA, um, reached out to me and um, wanted to see if I was interested in actually going back with their company. And you know what? I forgot to mention, you know what's really convenient is actually the time zone. <laughs> That's huge. Because I had, you know, I had used to live in East Africa, and the time zone is such a huge gap. Um, being here in Nicaragua and Central America, the time zones really align pretty well with, you know, if you're working in the U.S. or Canada, you know, the, the your working hours and your even like you know conversation with family members, you know, communication with your friends back home, like that stuff is a lot easier to organize because your time zones are so aligned. What's your life like here? Your day to day just as someone living in Nicaragua and San Juan del Sur and also as a remote worker? It's not so much different than what I think a lot of people would imagine it to be. Okay. Um, I think this kind of idea of like you move to a different country and your life is just this explosion of like craziness, right? Like it's just like hectic experiences there and there. Um, but actually my life is actually really uh, pretty organized and, and um, just peaceful and but like really beautiful out here. I wake up in the morning, um, I do a daily meditation. Um, since I've been out here and, and if you can see like how beautiful the environment is, like there's what's not to be grateful for. So um, I like to take some time in my morning to like just think about what I'm grateful for and where I am. Um, make some coffee in the morning, um, do some stretching uh, and you know just prepare for the general work day. Um, then I go to my little uh, little office corner that I set up for myself. Uh, you know, I start triaging emails and checking things. And so usually I will go from the early morning until a mid afternoon, maybe it'll push to like a later afternoon, depending on um, what's happening in that day. Um, and then I'll work, you know, at my little office station. Sometimes I'll come to the kitchen, make some lunch. Um, we have a delivery service out here, so sometimes I even get food delivered to okay. my house, you know. And um, and after that, I will, you know, the world is my oyster, you know. Like awesome, <laughs> I, I can I can go choose to go to the beach and go surf. I can go meet up with friends. Um, I'm a little bit of a workaholic, so you know I, I choose to uh, spend more time attending to the, some of my projects and businesses here okay. in town. Um, so I'll like right now I'll just go to I'll go to my land my property my construction site and I'll see what's going on there I'll get all the updates and everything but yeah I mean it, it's a it's a beautiful lifestyle and environment out here so even after that I'll go to you know find like my perfect sunset view spot and I'll have a glass of wine there and watch the sun go down and and honestly one of the best spots is just at this house <laughs> so I'll just sit on the couch sometimes and drink a glass of wine and watch the sunset over the ocean so yeah it's it's pretty great that sounds horrible <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it is terrible um would it be safe to say that you've designed a lifestyle that's based around the things that you enjoy doing surfing meditation relaxing with friends traveling within the country um it sounds like you created a lifestyle around what you love to do Definitely, yeah. I think that's a really good way to phrase it. Do you ever think about what life would be like, what you would be doing right now if you had not taken that leap, if you had not come down here? What does life look like if you're still in the U.S.? Yeah, um, I think about that pretty often actually because you know I, I, I still communicate with a lot of my friends and family back home uh, fairly regularly, and imagining and you know how my life would be like over there. Um, It'd be, it'd be more difficult. I mean, I, I'm a happy guy. I've always, I will be grateful and happy of the things that I'm surrounded by and I'm living through, but um, I do think that this was the right decision. You know, I have, I have, I feel more free here with my lifestyle, my priorities, uh, the environment around me. And, you know, it's, it's not like I'm you know stuck here either you know I choose to be here and I can go back to the US I can visit my friends I can visit my company I can visit my family you know like it's it's I still have a freedom of movement right and I still have my 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 choice of where I want to go from time to time but my day-to-day -day living this is definitely the spot and I love one of the first things you said you just feel very grateful to be in this situation and that's something that I 
forever grateful to be able to wake up in this beautiful country, the blue skies, nature around us where it's, it's a blessing. Absolutely. It's definitely a blessing. Well, Nick, as someone who uh, had the opportunity to speak to you when this was all an idea. Yeah, wow, it's a long, it feels like a lifetime ago. <laughs> it, it does seem like a long time ago. Um, I wasn't a father. Life was, it was a while ago. Absolutely. So to have the opportunity to speak to you when it was an idea, to go through the process with purchasing land and see you come down here and have this set up now, I just want to say I give you a lot of props. You did it. You set a plan. You set a goal. You followed through. So congratulations. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm uh, very grateful. And, you know, it. They're, they, like everything comes with a lot of challenges, you know. There's there's a lot of hard work along the way, but yeah, like you said, make a plan, follow through with it. It'll it'll turn out all right. All right. Well, Nick, thank you for your time, man. Appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Congratulations on all your success, and I hope this is helpful for other people who are thinking about coming down here, whether working remotely or starting a business or maybe just relaxing by the pool. Uh, as always, feel free to reach out to me. Feel free to reach out to Nick. And we'll be waiting for you by the beach. Enjoy the snow. <laughs> <laughs> <For sure. laughs>